how's everybody doing welcome back to my channel okay my face looks super dry but um i'm gonna moisturize my face on this video i wanted to show you guys that but let me first explain what we're getting into so i'm going to school soon um next month and i'm going to be studying beauty um mainly professional makeup and facial therapy right so one of the requirements to school is to have makeup to wear makeup every day and i've worked really hard for my skin so yeah i do like wearing makeup but i don't wear it every day just so you know i'm taking care of my skin in between right so what i wanted to come here and do with you guys is try to like um make um or like create or just like come up with um a makeup routine that is wearable and is like everyday makeup but you know you can still see that you know she has makeup on um i don't want it to be too heavy because you know if i want to be wearing it every day i need it to be super light um but still do what i needed to do so i want to um try and come up with a routine maybe test out a couple of things here with you guys and if i don't like how it, it turns out today then um, i'll make this a series and we'll just continue until i find the beat that i think works for me i also need it to be quick so i need it to be quick like wearable um, and long lasting because i am going to wear it from morning till late afternoons um so yeah let's get into it my lashes Do you see what's going on with my lashes? Um, I wanted to show you guys the skincare routine that I do with this beat. Skincare is very important for your makeup. Um, so if you haven't seen my skincare routine, um, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. Um, so I use the, this aloe vera gel by Herbalife. I take like a pea-sized amount, so my face is clean, I just haven't moisturized. I take like that much and then I'm gonna put I've been putting a drop of tea tree oil recently because I noticed my skin has some texture and the tea tree oil has been helping with that so I just take a drop literally a single drop and I just pat this in and then after that I follow with my everyday soothing hand and body lotion back of my life also a pea sized amount also pat it in then I go in with sunscreen. I've been using a different sunscreen from the Every Sun that's in my skincare routine um, video. It's the Nivea Protect and Moisturize Immediate Protection SPF 50. And I just take like three little pops of this. And I also pat that in. So I'm just gonna let this sit in for a bit before i get into my makeup because i like doing that i just feel like the skincare needs a bit more time um just you know sink in and do what it's meant to do for the skin so in the meantime i'm gonna fix this because it's so cute i'm gonna do that and if you want to see how i do it i probably have i think i'm gonna upload it before this one um but i have a video on how i do my lashes on my own so yeah go watch that if you want to see how I do my lashes so yeah let me just go fix this eye and then I'll be right back so we can get started on just creating the perfect base okay so I have the lashes on on this end and I ran out of lashes before I could volumize this side like this side has more volume than this one has more volume than this side and there's nothing I can do so I'm not mad I'm not mad they're not too far apart but you know they're not identical to- if you hear anything in the back, it's my little brother. Um, yeah, he's like right here. So, my skincare is done. I've done these lashes. We can get started. Like I said, I want it to be really wearable, so I don't think I'm going to wear foundation because I stopped wearing foundation a while ago, actually. So, I want it to be almost like a skin-like finish. So I'm not going to do too much covering up of um, my face. I'm just going to even out my skin tone, maybe cover up these dark spots. But that's going to be mainly it. And then, of course, 
brightening a little bit, a little bit of brush, some warmth to my face. I'm not going to do an eye look because it's just a simple everyday beat that I can do in 10-15 minutes and then leave the house. So, yes, let's get started. To even up my skin tone, I don't know if I want to use... So, so I, meant, I meant to conceal these dark spots. I don't know if I want to use my Maybelline Fit Me. Yeah, the shade 60 because that's my exact shade. Or if I should use the Fit Me foundation because this is also my exact shade. Um, just to conceal the spots. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know because the concealer isn't as much coverage as the foundation. Um, I think I might use the foundation actually. I mean, I have this foundation as well. It used to be my mom's. Um, because she is a tad darker than me. But it's looking like this foundation is my shade now. So that means I've got another tan. Have I got some more tan? This one is a bit warmer and this one is a bit more neutral. Should I do my brows? Hey, but I'm not. Okay, I think I've decided what I want to do. I'm gonna get this contour stick, which is a tad bit darker um, than my skin tone, like a little bit. And I'm gonna cover those little spots and then go over it with that warm toned foundation. My under eyes, just to sort of like color correct. So then I'm going to get this brush, if I can find it gonna get a fluffy brush hoping it does not have shimmer on it and get that foundation and really just place it on there I'm not gonna blend it out yet because I wanted to draw it down and really like stay in place now I'm just going to let that sit yeah, I'm gonna let it sit for a bit and I'll come back to it. What I wanna do now is kinda like carve out my brows, my brows a little bit. Just a tad, just the tiniest little bit of carving out. Just gonna brush these babies out. I'm not fitting them in, just carving them. I'm gonna grab my light concealer, just a tiny bit of it, not too much. And get it on this brush, get it on the tip of the brush, and just carve out these brows for me. I'm gonna bring out my concealer brush. And I'm really just going around the dark spot itself. So I'm not touching on top of it. I'm just like going around the perimeter of it. Here is just this coloration. So I'm just going to blend it. Blending this with a very light hand. Because like I said, I want it to stay. I want the product to stay where it is. I don't want it to move. Um, but of course, like I want it to blend. Because I do want a skin finish. I put this on my under eyes because they are a bit dark. So, um, and I'm going to use a pretty bright concealer. Even just even though I'm just going to use a, bit, a little bit of it, um, it is quite bright. But yeah, the concealer I'm going to use is pretty bright. So, even though I'm going to use a tiny bit of it, I don't want it to end up looking grey. Because I'm going to be wearing this for a long time, for the entire day. And I don't want to be walking around looking like Wednesday Adams. No thanks. And there we have it, folks. Clear skin, per. <laughs> now I'm going to do the tiniest bit of blush. Like I said, I want to be skin finished. I want it to just look like I have clear skin and I just put a little bit of powder and blush on. So I'm gonna put this one. I use 
I, if, if you're new here, I use lipstick as a blush. Just get a bit of it, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. And I'm gonna blend it out with the brush I usually use to blend out my complexion products, like my foundation brush, even though I don't use foundation. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna use to blend this out because I want it to be super, super subtle. Um, yes. Look at it. It just blends so beautifully into my skin. I love this. I'm just gonna connect them a bit. And then, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the concealer. Do I wanna do it like super bright or should I mix them? I don't wanna do a super bright. I'm gonna mix my Maybelline Fit Me in shade 8 in shade 8 and then shade 60 um i'm gonna mix them together to get um, a pretty neutral almost my skin um almost my shade um type of color i think that's good i'm gonna get the the, the brush i used to cover my brows with and i'm just gonna place this concealer so I'm gonna place it like that. I'm gonna let this dry down. Let me just fan it down actually because I need to hurry up. Um, I wanna do a light, super light contour. As you know, if you've seen my makeup videos, I never do contour, but I wanna do super light contour with this shade that is basically my shade. Um, I'm using this one because like I said, I want it to be super light, but I'm just putting it there. Just like right underneath my blush and then a tiny bit on my forehead. That is it. That's that's it. I'm gonna blend it out with my foundation brush because I also don't want it to be too harsh. Um, I'm kind of like mixing it with my blush so it looks very seamless and like together. And it just looks like I'm naturally snatched and you know blushing now i'm gonna blend out my concealer but i want to make sure that i have my powder close by i'm not gonna put too much powder we're working on a skin like finish today okay it's not my usual thing i really like a matte look um i have oily skin i only like my skin to be glowy and like dewy only when i just have my skin color on not when i have my makeup i like my makeup to be matte i've never done dewy makeup um i haven't tried it i just i just feel like it's not gonna no i'll try it maybe later on in time just not today concealer brush it's fine it's fine it's fine um i'm gonna set everything with my powder puff i know i said i was gonna use my beauty blender but i'm too lazy to go damp in it Actually, I have my spritz here, so I'll just spritz it and open it like this. This spritz is literally just water, by the way. That's what I set my face with, and my face does last a long time. Yeah, so that's damp enough. I'm gonna blend with. I'm still gonna blend with. A, let me just try I'm still gonna blend with a, a brush, and then I'll follow up with the damp beauty blender i'm gonna blend out the edges first because i want this to stay in place so i'm gonna leave it at this right i'm gonna blend this other side and then i'm gonna just go over it a little bit with the beauty blender so that's blended really nicely i really like this shade so i'm gonna blend with the beauty blender i'm just gonna tap everything in just like press it in nicely gently and then of course do the edges where there's you see the line i don't want anything to be sharp i want this to be airbrushed and skin like finish are you getting it yes okay so i have my powder puff ready with my powder ready as soon as i like blend out the creasing i'm gonna set this i'm gonna set first with my beauty blender my damp beauty blender just the tiniest like the thinnest layer. I'm just like press that in. Right, and then I'm gonna go in with another very thin layer. 
focusing it on the area that I crease the most. Now, I'm gonna get my powder puff and then just also very thin layers with the same powder. Just set the rest of my face, make sure I'm dabbing it off, dabbing off the excess on here. And literally just like press everything just nicely. Very subtle, kind of like soft matte type of finish. Just perfect. Just perfect. Just like a soft matte, a pretty soft matte finish. And then I'm gonna go back in with my damp beauty blender and just press this powder in the powders that I loved that second year with my damp beauty blender. Um, I'm gonna do a light layer of powder brush, powder blush, just this pretty peachy one. Just gonna get a tiny bit of it and just set this. It's very subtle, that's why I love it. Like, look at that, so pretty. And it kind of just like adds a warmth to my face. I feel like I'm whispering because I said this look is soft. Everyday makeup. I'm usually whispering. <laughs> We're entering our soft girly era. And I guess that means I'm whispering now. I whisper now. Okay. Um, I feel like the only thing I have left to do now is a tad bit of highlight. I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing. I'm gonna do some highlights just on my nose. Um, I'm not a huge fan of highlight anyway. This tiny little angle brush, I'm gonna dip into my highlight. I'm not gonna get one that's too bright today. Um, and I'm just gonna do just a tiny bit on the tip of my nose. And then the bridge of my nose. I'm gonna dip into the remnants of my bronzer. <laughs> There's literally nothing left. And I'm gonna like make it a bit more subtle. We're basically done. The only thing I have to do now is lips, which I think I'm just gonna do a brown liner and some clear gloss. I need to buy more glosses because this would look so long with a pinkish nudish lip. Um, um, but yeah, today I'm just gonna do a brown liner, and I use I haven't found a brown liner that lasts me the entire day. But brown eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow is gonna do it for me each time. So that's what I'm gonna line my lips with. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges. Cute, cute, and then gloss, and then spritz, and then we're done. Let me actually spritz my face first. Let's do spritz first. Like I said, it's just water. Literally, just water in the spray bottle. Me and my gloss, I'm all out. I'm basically, I really need to go to this camp because it's lazily. Pretty, pretty. I think I'm gonna spritz one more time because I do want this to last a long time. Um, so yeah. Final look, final look. Let me just get, it's itching there. And I didn't want it to, I don't wanna scratch it because that's weird. Um, let me just get my station organized so I can lick you in the eyes, say my goodbyes, and you know, just take some cute pictures. And then I wanna do a wear test. So in like four hours, I'll come and check in with you guys for six hours. Um, I'll come in and check in with you guys and show you how the makeup is looking. So we'll do a close up just now of how it's looking right now. Um, and then after six hours, we'll also do a close up to see how it looks afterwards to see if this is it or if we do need to come back and modify some things. This is the final look. This is so cute. This is super cute. Um, I'm hoping the wear test is like good. I hope this checks out because I like the way it looks on me. Very subtle, very much everyday makeup, but you know, still cute, still cute. I look cute. I look cute. I would recommend this look for like 
maybe running errands or if you're late to brunch and you wanna whip something up quickly this is the look um or like i said if you wanna just you know if you're a soft girly and you're not really into like a beat beat but you know you still wanna look cute for maybe like a date night out with your girlies or a date night out with your with your partner or with yourself or with yourself and you don't want to like beat your face to the god but you still want to look cute this is it like i said i will do a wear test and i'll show you guys a little clip of how it looks after six hours hoping 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 and praying that this checks because i love the way it looks um otherwise if it doesn't like i said i'll come back and we'll take time and you'll just listen to me whispering, being a soft girly, and just watch me do my makeup. Um, and yeah, we'll just figure it out until I find a base that like lasts for the amount of time that I need it to. But yeah, this is what I would wear for school every day. It's just a base. It's super cute. Um, on some days, maybe I could add a shimmer here and there. Maybe I could highlight my cheeks a bit more. Um, maybe I could do a different color lip liner. Maybe I could do black instead of brown some days. I could do a wing liner. It's really up to me and how I change it, but this is the base that I will use. Super cute, super classy. I love. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want more of these, I feel like this was very therapeutic for me. This was very calming. And just the tone I'm using, just the way I'm speaking. I don't feel like healing today. Because it's so gloomy and rainy outside. I just feel like it's just ugh, my energy. So that's why, I guess that's why I'm speaking like this. But like I said, we're entering our soft girly era. So that might also be why. But yeah, um, this was very therapeutic for me. If you guys want more of these, you could do these and just talk about things. Um, yeah, just talk about things. Listen to me being soft and like subtle. <laughs> and watch me do my makeup i could definitely do more of these because this was fun this was fun it was cute it was very i feel like a girl divine feminine or whatever <laughs> but yeah i could definitely do more of these so let me don't know down in the comment section if you guys would like more of these like makeup therapy type um quiet like classy like soft type of videos i could definitely do more of these don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications off so you don't miss any more of my videos i i will see you in the next one